Oh, Freddy. What are you doing, man? Come on, come inside. Yeah! What up, y'all, and welcome back to another one. Opening the video in the new house. Oh, yeah. These two guys, they both got new beds, and they've just been loving them. No, Freddy, you gotta stay in the house today, dude. Gonna try a crow hunt <laughs> behind the house on the sand hills. Uh, yesterday, the last two days, I've been hearing crows. I'm like, what in the heck? And I look, and they're just running this right here. They're flying this right here. See that huge set of telephone poles? The big wire right there? Another thing, it's really, really windy today. But that big guide wire, ton of crows are following this. Beside my house, over my house, really just kind of going around my house. And I'm thinking we need to get out back, set the crow decoys, and try to get something down today. Oh yeah, we got the old side-by-side -side ready to go. But before we get into today's video, I have to give you guys a huge shout out for purchasing Ducks Waterfowl gear. I appreciate it so much. You guys know the routine. When you guys purchase something, it goes directly to helping me bring you guys more of these videos. Thank you guys so much. Oh, it's windy. It is windy. Oh, but here we are. We're in the shop. We gotta grab our decoys, boys. Oh yeah, got the old trailer in here finally. Got the shop just a rocking. Got the old fridge in here. Got all my stuff in here finally. Well, got the decoys, check this out. Old Frederick, he's getting worse and worse at this, I'll tell you what. Yesterday we had a group of people over, we probably had 12 vehicles in front of the house. That dog marked every single vehicle's tire. Ridiculous. Well, here we go, traveling out back here. I have no idea really where to set up. All I know is wherever I do set up, I want it to be, I want it to be able to be seen from far away. And I don't want to be directly in the wind. So the mic is all jacked up. Beautiful day out here. <laughs> well, I've been sitting here and uh, I guess I didn't realize just how windy it actually was. I mean, it's bad. I don't even think my decoys will really stand up very good. This ain't bad right here. Anyways, the wind, it's gusting to 40 mile an hour. It's probably a little too much to try to be crow hunting today. I might wait till tomorrow. The bad thing is, is that there's only two days left to crow hunt. You know what I mean? Two days, then it's over. Ah, it's too windy. Too windy. I don't even think the crows will be battling this type of wind. I honestly didn't know that, that, that it was this crazy windy. But you guys got to let me know down in the comment section below. Do you all want to see a crow hunt here in the next couple days? And I want to do a live stream, you know? Maybe during the weekend. Maybe next weekend. That's what we'll do. Next weekend, we'll do a live stream out here doing something. Whether it's a shooting competition or something. So be looking out for that. Don't miss that. I haven't got to show you all the trails out here though. This is uh, the side that you guys haven't seen. And yeah, it's beautiful. Awesome trails. A lot of property. Yeah. This right here I have plans for. Check this little area out. This is where uh, we get extra sand out of if we need it. I think I'm gonna make a little pistol range right here. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It's gonna be fun, boys. This place I'm in love with. I don't even, I don't even like driving out of my driveway to leave. I don't even like leaving this place. I love it, love it, love it. But anyways, let's go check out the shops. I've been wanting to show you guys. And we're gonna check out the lodge. Y'all have been wanting to see it. It's time to show y'all. All right, here she is. I want to show you the outside real quick before we get blown away with wind. Uh, she's a three-door unit. We have an 11-foot door and then two nine-foot doors. I love it. It's a, it's a 40 by 60. And this is where all the decoys will be. The trailer, of course. But all the decoys. This is where the work's going to be done. My plans for this... Like I said, where the work's gonna be done. I got the toolboxes in here. This is where the decoys, this whole trailer is gonna come out. 
we are getting a ton, and I mean a ton of new decoys from Dive Bomb Industries, y'all. That is to come, you gotta wait for all that. It's enough decoys where it's gonna fill up this whole shop, completely. Oh, and, and I have another video coming out for y'all. We picked a winner for the boat. But there will be a video coming out this week uh, saying who won it, so very exciting news there. But this room here, this is a little room built off the main shop. And this is uh, where they've always stored all their mowers. I bought a lot of this mowing equipment from them. Uh, seed spreaders, uh, aerators, sprayers. So I just kept all my mowers in here. I put my generators in here. I'm in the midst of trying to get everything organized. My whole life literally organized. I think it took me 30 minutes to find my Rite, a box of three and a half inch shells, the e-collar, the remote, my camo pants, the shoes I wanted, just because they're scattered everywhere. Moving, it's been a chore. And I mean a chore, we still haven't unloaded everything. Look, I got my pigeons, I got decoys and paddle tires, everything. Again, a little hint, the paddle tires, we're gonna have a lot of fun out here. All my ATV enthusiasts, I'm getting back to my roots. I'm gonna start ATV and more. We're gonna buy three wheelers. I or golf carts on the way. But what's gonna be real nice, guys, is when we have those hunts where we soak the decoys. Y'all remember this last year when I had to, I think it was two or three times, had to take all my wet frozen socks out of the trailer, scatter them all on the floor. In my old shop, I didn't have near this amount of room. So we're gonna throw a lot of fans in here, a lot of heat, get the air moving. And this is where we'll be able to dry all them wet decoys. It's a pain in the butt. Y'all seen it last year. It's not funny. No matter how you do it, no matter what type of facility you have, it's never fun. Having that much floor space will be nice. Let me tell you what. So first of all, I need y'all's help. Do you guys have any, oh, I gotta show you that too. Do you guys have any idea, any ideas, good ideas, any at all, for the shop? You know what this is gonna be used for now? You gotta let me know if you have any ideas. If you've seen other shops that are just like, man, Bob, you should do this because you can hang your floaters here or there, let me know. Plus we have this up here, check this out right here. So this is a little loft area. It's always been used for storage, but I think I'm gonna change it. Check it out. It's really cool. You can overlook the whole shop. It is beautiful. I know, way above my standards. Way above Bobby's standards. I think this is gonna be the head guides room up here. Have a door right here, close it. We're gonna put walls all the way around it. Bed, couch, big TV. Heater, fan, couple rugs. That's gonna be the guide, the head guide, his place to stay. Which, we do have our head guide already picked out and ready to go. He's ranting, he's raving, he's ready to go. Just like me, we're doing this together, me and him. So, to be announced who that person is, stay tuned. But again, if you have any ideas, any extra ideas, let me know down in the comments. But you come right out of this shop, close the door and boom, there it is. In fact, the lodge right there, y'all. It's my baby. It is my baby. So the main reason why this is gonna be the lodge, you guys, would be better if that one was a lodge because it's a little bigger, but this one already has one and two ACs. Plus it's got two furnaces inside already. It is so windy. Here we are, flip on them lights, oh yeah, here she is y'all. Now this is a uh, two door system which with the lodge being in here, we're not gonna use. There's a lot of work that needs to be done y'all, but I'm gonna show you what has already been, been done and, and the reason why it's gonna be the lodge. So right here, here's a series of rooms with another upstairs and this first room here it's already a fully finished bedroom this was their office and it's really nice it's got a vaulted ceiling already got a bench we can put probably what one or two bunk beds in here or just two single beds but this will at least sleep two people easily 
Got an outside sink. Outside of the bathroom. Oh yeah, check that out. Now, the guy that owned it was a mechanic. Kind of like it, kind of like the checkered floor. Might just leave it, just because it was here. But all the painting, all the decorations, they all gonna change. It's all gonna change into geese, lessers, cacklers, and mallards everywhere. <laughs> but here's a shower, yep. Normal bathroom. And then you go around the corner, and here's another room. Now this room is where he did his powder coating. See up here? He uh, powder coated stuff and he hung everything down to dry. He had an oven here to dry his powder coating. And you will notice all over the shop there is air reels everywhere. And they're, they're still everywhere. And I don't know whether I leave them or take them down. Like this one right here. Yep, there's one. There's another one right there. Oh, that, might, that might be handy one day. Maybe one of y'all show up and you have a flat tire. We drag it right out the door, air up your tire. But in the back here, this is uh, the utility room. This is the furnace for this living quarter. And then we have an on-demand hot water heater already. That's nice because all of y'all can take shower after shower after shower and it never gets cold. That's a game changer in itself. But where I'm stuck at, my crossroads with this whole thing and what I'm trying to figure out, how I'm gonna add what I need to add. I need to add at least another two bedrooms uh, because this is my original plan here. We need more than one bathroom. Now, we already have more than one sink, but we need more than one toilet for sure. So what I'm thinking about doing in this room here is about right here where the door is, come out, boom, here, make another room in here with just a toilet and a small sink. Now, that would mean that there would be only one shower, let me know what you guys think about that idea. Is one shower enough with two toilets, three sinks? Plus, we'd have a fourth sink, because right here, in fact, is gonna be the kitchen. So this is the big furnace that heats the entire shop. It does the shop, the small one does the living quarters. So, kitchen, big open kitchen. I'm thinking a lot of big stainless. Then a big island out here that you have bar stools around to eat. And then we might have a regular table. And then out here, we can have like two huge sectional couches with a huge, massive TV up there. That's my thought. That's my thought. So what I'm getting at is if we can put at least, let's check this out. We could for sure do at least like a bunk bed and then a single probably right here. So I'm thinking at least two to three people can sleep in here. And then, like I said, this room here, if we do do the extra toilet and sink with a door going in here, that means right here, this would actually be washer and dryer, which every lodge, in my opinion, needs a washer and dryer for all the clients, all the guests to use when they need to. Uh, you never know when you're gonna have those wet, muddy hunts when people have to wash and dry their stuff. So, nobody, if, if we do that, nobody's gonna be staying in this room. So right now, we're still sitting at two to three people. So, if we go upstairs, I need y'all's opinion on this. You got to let me know. Uh, getting people sleeping in here and being comfortable, that's my main priority. So up here, this, is, this has a uh, upstairs as well. But the problem is, look, I'm tall. I don't know, I'm probably like six. I'm six one, six two. But as you get to the middle of it, okay, now I can stand up. We can stand up for a little ways. So if you're only like 5'10", somewhere around there, you're probably gonna be able to walk quite a ways. But I'm thinking about putting a higher rail on here, like a, a quarter wall, a half wall. And then up here, we could have like one, two, three, maybe even four beds. So I really want y'all's opinion. Those of you that are gonna book a hunt with me, seriously, is this, is this too annoying? Is it too annoying to just, and then sit down and go to bed? Because it ain't like you're gonna be socializing up here, dancing or something. Uh, is it okay to walk up here and just go to sleep? You know what I mean? If you're shorter than me, you're not gonna have a problem. 
But those of you that would actually book a hunt with me, would you mind? Now this is gonna be a lot nicer, y'all. We're gonna make it a lot nicer. Way nicer. Everything's gonna be, they're gonna be drop lighting. There's gonna be drop ceilings. It's gonna be awesome in here. It's not just gonna be wide open like this. But would this be okay for you guys uh, that, that already wanna pay and come hunt with me? Would you sleep there? Would it be bad? Put some carpet down, make it nice. And so if we did that, that would be another three or four people sleeping up there. So we're at four, five, six-ish right now. And then my buddy Joey, uh, he'll probably be helping me build a lot of this, I would say. He was like, Bob, just so you don't take up any room out there, why don't you, what are already here, why don't you run a wall right here, come and you meet the edge of that stair, and make another room right here. And actually you could almost do, boom, boom, split it down the middle and have two more rooms. So it'd either be one big room with probably two bunk beds, which would give us four extra people, or it's gonna be two rooms. No, it'd probably be one room with two bunk beds, I would imagine. So that's four more. So now we're at four, eight, 10, 11, 10 to 11. I think that would be good. I, I hope that you guys just completely got what I tried to explain to y'all. Um, I'm excited, I know I'm rambling. You can tell I'm excited. I wasn't even planning on doing this video today. I was honestly gonna try the crow hunt, but the wind is way worse than I thought. We're gonna try it tomorrow, so. Um, if I can ask you guys for anything, like I already have, please, please, please give me your two cents. Now up here, we already have two awesome sewing fans up there that are actually on a speed control separate. And you can see them, they're a little grimy, but I think I'll put new ones up there. Like I said, it's gonna be nice. I'd love to put some drop ceilings down. You know, like hang a drop ceiling down that's only nine foot instead of, you know, 15 foot over the kitchen maybe some stained paneling or something be cool with some lights hanging down from it i want it to be fancy i want it to be nice it's gonna be fancy it's gonna be nice but i need your guys's help please 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 give me your two cents if you have an idea say hey let's just do this if you have an idea this is bedroom number one bathroom this is room number two upstairs new room that's how you refer to it Tell me what you want me to do. Tell me your grand ideas because I guarantee you, you guys have already helped me in the past a ton with ideas and y'all can help me now. I need you. Thank you guys. Another idea is since this is gonna be the lodge, I think I'm gonna take off at least one. Yep, one of these garage door openers has got to come off. Maybe both of them and move them to the other shop uh, over there, I don't have garage door openers. See, the old owner that was here, he had a brand new, beautiful two post lift that was here. And it was actually gonna stay and it was actually gonna be mine. But then I had told him, hey, I'm just gonna end up taking it out and selling it because it will be in my way. See, this guy was a mechanic. He, he worked on a lot of vehicles here. And this was his pride and joy shop. Now, mind you, if I wasn't gonna do this whole guiding thing, and if I wasn't expecting a lot of y'all to come and be clients and have fun with me and, and have a place for y'all to stay like this and yada, 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 right? I would have kept this, my beautiful shop, because it's awesome. I mean, a man's shop with a beautiful little sink right here, boom, furnace, AC, it doesn't matter if it's summer, winter, you can get out here and be comfortable working on anything, believe me, I am going to miss the opportunity for this to be my shop. Now, my plans are make this nice, make this grand as possible, and then hopefully it outgrows itself one day and we can get the lodge off of the property and maybe not here at the house, but it has to outgrow its own self first. You know, I'm not gonna, I don't have the means just to go buy another lodge separate from the piece of property I just bought. So we're gonna have to make do. I'm gonna have to bite the bullet and uh, we're gonna have to send it and we're gonna have to make this place comfortable and it's gonna have to be awesome. And with your help, I know that we can do it. Thank you guys again. 
I know, I've said thank you in the last two videos, being here on the property, probably over 100 times, but I mean it. Thank you all. Without you all, none of this would be possible. Daddy. Oh, Freddy. Hi, buddy, Freddy. <laughs> Look, he realized I was filming old Freddy. He said, oh, Dad's got the camera on. Oh, lay back down. No, lay down. Lay down, Fred. Lay down. <laughs> you guys are just loving the new house. Look at them. Oh, we even got Jackson. Ah, they're Jackson. What are you doing, man? Huh? Somebody commented on there. Bobby never talks to his other dog. Yeah, I know. So one of you guys did comment. You're like, none of you. <laughs> you never talk to any of your other dogs. I used to talk to Jackson, but Jackson, he's he's just gotten old and lazy. He's not a spunky. You can't get him excited, really. You know. Oh, watch out. Where's but that ball? Freddy, Freddy, oh Freddy, oh he gets excited and all kinds of stuff. Jackson, you get excited, huh? Huh, Jackson? Have a week. Have oh, a week. oh, Bodie gets excited. He gets real excited. Hoppy get excited? Oh yeah, sis. Oh look at that mouth. That's the nervous mouth. Sissy, you go. When you get nervous every time. Well, finally getting the old editing room put together. Got the old mallard on the wall. Got my charging station. Yeah, pretty messy. Got the computer up and going. And look at the little view I finally got while editing. Pretty nice, huh? This house adds so much to what I already do. It's so awesome just to be able to be comfortable, have my own office where I can edit. And another really cool thing, it's really awesome to be able to make videos at home. Now, like I said, guys, I haven't even fired a shot here on the new property. And like I said uh, earlier, I think it was in the last video, I think we should do a little clay throwing challenge off the balcony. What do y'all think? Again, if you guys want to see that video, let me know. Uh, I think Jordan's going to come over here in just a little bit. He's going to bring his pistol contender 410. Oh yeah, I have an idea right here. Y'all catch my drift. But thank you all for being here. Be sure you subscribe if you haven't. We're going to be doing a lot of videos out back, y'all. A lot of toys that I got on the way. Golf carts, some other things. A lot of shooting, a lot of hunting videos to come back here. We got deer, we got turkeys, and I got to get in that crow video. And I got to get in that crow hunt. There's only two days left of crow season, so I got to make that happen. But hit that little notification bell on there because it will notify you when I upload. But thanks for being here, guys. Without you guys, the lodge, the shop, this whole new adventure for me and you guys would not exist. From the bottom of my heart, me and my family, we say thank you. Be sure to follow me on Instagram right here. But until next time, peace. I've been getting laid back, baby. You should know that I don't need your criticism, pessimism. I've been keeping it on the DL Got a girl that keeps it real